check out the end of the track because they said it was kind of sketchy. <laughs> Get off! Oh. Someone flew through these bushes last time. Holy sh! I was all over the track. I've never been so squirrely on a track before ever. We could both use a drink right now. Yeah, we had a rough day today. Good morning, guys. We are here at Port Allen, Los Baton Rouge, and we're at State Capitol Raceway, and it is day four of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We just completed a 14-hour drive. We're unloading all of our stuff, as you can see, that we brought, because, again, whatever you're racing with, you have to bring with you. You cannot rely on other vehicles to do that for you. But I kind of want to check out the track conditions before um, we get the car out on there. But yep, hopefully we can get some good times today. It's really humid too. There's a lot of mosquitoes out. <laughs> Day. We just got back from the track like a few hours ago so we can have a real dinner. The day was a tough day for me. I was all over the track. I've never been so squirrely on a track before ever. Um, and I lost my first place spot. So now I'm in seventh place. But this 11 0 index class is like super competitive and I need an 11 0. And I just couldn't get it today. Got 11.4. But we did everything we could and there's always tomorrow. So. You never know what's gonna happen. I'm stumbling third. We do our drive um, to Monroe, Louisiana. Still, <laughs> maybe that'll change things. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll change Stay things. Stay tuned. We could both use a drink right now. Yeah, we had a rough day. Yeah. He did. Oh, here. Yep. Would you get? Oh, it does taste it's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like. I yours feel is like, like super creamy. This one's like good for dessert. This would be like a good like starter. It's so good. Um, like it's hot. Did it go over that area? Okay guys, we made it to our checkpoint one before we get to the track. This drive wasn't too bad. We didn't really overheat, we didn't overheat this time. So I think the 55 mile an hour on the drive keeps the car cool. Hi guys. They were waiting for us. For us? <laughs> oh, cool. Are you guys part of the, the drive? No, we just came here to see the cool cars. Oh, fun. Yeah. Especially the R35s. Yeah, have you, where have you seen like it? Uh, my buddy posted pictures of it. You guys are at the same hotel as him. Oh, so, cool. <laughs> we came here to see him. Oh, fine. Well, cool. I'm glad you guys are going to the track. 
Well, it, it starts at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are on our stop number two, and we ran into Phil. Look at this. This is his trailer. So we got 40 more miles to go. Kylie, how are you feeling? This is Super good, getting sleepy, but we are almost there, so. He's gone now. Almost there. <laughs> good. And then we'll be outdoors for like eight hours. <laughs> your car. Ah, uh, been a long term. I've had it since 1988. 1988? I've raced it from 92 up to 2011. Then it sat for 10 years. And then it's like, oh my. It's like being out there. I've, this is my seventh Dragon Drive with Rocky Mountain. Seventh? Wow. Good for you. This thing's still kicking. How are you doing on the race? Uh, right now I got third locked up. Good. I got a good chance for second. Wow. I'm not out of first yet. It just depends on what he How does. How many classes are you doing? Just one. Okay. 13 0. Just 13 -0. no practice car. That's good. That's amazing. Well, good luck. Oh, you too. Yeah. You know, it's like, I just love the style you did with your, you know, because it's oh. like. There ain't no wrong way of doing this stuff. Yeah. Everyone, I love how everybody puts their own personalities into the car. When I first started racing, it was burgundy with the black interior. I show up the track, the 65 Fastback, burgundy with the black interior. I'm Martin. He was Marvin. <laughs> Couldn't tell what they were saying. Hey, that was a good run. Well, that was Martin or Marvin. Who's <laughs> so I had to go far away from burgundy, so I went Shelby style. Oh, it looks amazing. I love it. I love the flag that you got back there, too. Yeah. I love how you race it, though. You're not one of those garage queens. Oh, no. <laughs> Bugs on the windshield is a badge of honor. That's right. It adds more horsepower. Hey, good luck to you. Take care. Bye. Okay, we finally made it to Monroe in Twin City Raceway. So just to give you guys perspective of how we pack the cars, this is literally everything. So we've maximized the space. Even the parachute goes in there. And yeah, so it all fits in there. And then I put my, my helmet, race stuff in here so it's ready to go. But pretty much we just have to change the tire pressure, put the parachute in, drain the fuel, get some race fuel in there. Other than that, then we can start making passes. So. We're gonna check out the end of the track because they said it was kind of sketchy, but we made some friends that'll give us a ride. Thank you guys so much. Oh. <laughs> get a link view while you're racing. <laughs> There's water. Someone flew through these bushes last time. Holy sh**. Yeah, I'm glad they um, gave us a ride and then showed us how to get back because I would have missed the turn to come in back into the pits. It's literally, you get, I don't even know how many feet, but half of what Ennis is and then it starts turning. The first exit, the first no way. Holes. And we saw the accident where the guy drove yeah. straight. He hopped over the yeah, bushes didn't have into the road. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make the first pass in probably like half an hour or so. So we'll see if I could stop, just pull the shoot. <laughs> Pull the shoot and pray. Pull out and pray. and ready to go back to the hotel. It's so hot here. But that was interesting, racing on the track um, that had a curve at the end. It kind of give you like, messes with your mind because you feel like you don't have enough room to stop. I was able to stop, it got a little sketchy. For the 9 class that I did, I locked in third place. 
And for the 8.5, I believe I did that too. We're gonna find out 100% tomorrow because you still have to drive to the last location. So the top 15 gets to participate in the shootout, um, basically like grudge matches. And my car is like top five of the fastest cars that have come out here. So we are gonna get to participate in that. And um, so there's more racing to do. We don't have to worry about staying in our lanes of 9.0 or 8.5. So we can just like literally send it. <laughs> so that's gonna be tomorrow. Wish us luck. Maybe I'll hit a seven second pass on that one. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, we're here with John and we're checking in at our hotel and he pulled over and he was like, are you guys on this versus that? He just watched it. So funny, small world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know for sure, but I saw I saw the decals and I, I mainly remembered yours because of the well, decals. It's, but it's, it's a crazy. I, say, I don't remember okay. the red one. It, it, it's it a crazy awesome. design. And it wasn't this one. Hers was like that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> they all have she has two. <laughs> this is just her spare. <laughs> okay, guys. So John's gonna do a mini photo shoot because he is also a photographer. I love the sun in the background. Oh my God, this is gonna look so cute. John It is the last day of Rocky Mountain Race Week and we've officially turned in the standings. I got third place on the 9.0 class and fourth place on the 8.5 class and Kylie got sixth place. Sixth place for Kylie. She was so close though. It was just that one day that the car was inconsistent because the track was so slippery, but she got it. She would have had first place. So we're gonna try again. Um, so right now we are, ch Seth is changing the brakes. Um, there's an extra grudge match at the end where you win cash money. And that is gonna be, um, called BMF8. <laughs> so it's the second tier of the fastest cars at Rocky Mountain. They're putting together and doing grudge matches. So my brakes were kind of shot at the last track. So he's going ahead and changing that for me before I run so we can be safe. Like a true Hawaiian, working on the car in flip-flops. So if you guys want his OnlyFans for his <laughs> <laughs> this is the brakes and you can see like the the areas where it's fractured right there. Good thing we carried spare brakes in the trunk. You can see the fracture wear there, but that's kind of typical, right? For yeah, this setup. This is the second second set of brakes we've got. It doesn't they don't last a very long time. Well, that one looks pretty cracked. Do you think I could have done another one and the back part looks fine? More passes, but. We could have probably done a few passes, but again, it's like he's gonna turn up the car because we're running grudge matches now. So it's like first one to the finish line. We don't have to stay at a consistent time anymore. We just wanna be safe. I don't know. I get kind of freaked out when I saw like cracks on the brakes. So yeah, so after this, we are officially done with Rocky Mountain Race Week, y'all. So I'll let you know. I'll catch up with y'all again um, to let you know how we did. You guys, let's talk to Kylie because she like pretty much thugged it out the whole week with me. Let them know how you did. How did you do? Well, I had the best time ever with Luda. She's literally the best. I wouldn't want to go on this week-long adventure with anyone else. She has been the cheerleader since oh day God. one. Stop. And we've had so much fun. So many amazing memories have been made. So my first two days, I was in first place. And then unfortunately, at that one track, I just couldn't get hooked up on the line. And so I wasn't able to turn in a really good pass. And that brought me all the way down um, in the bottom 10. Um, but then I did have a really great pass at the last track and turn in an 11.00 pass again. Uh, but it still just wasn't enough to win the class. But I did get sixth 
first place in the 11 -0, so I'm super, super happy about that and just really grateful for the experience that I got in the car. It was a good lesson learned, and um, yeah, so best time ever. <laughs> it was good, so I can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah, next time. year. We <laughs> went the whole week with humid, hot, yeah. just uh, like sitting out here for eight hours, 10 hours, doing 14 hour drives. Yep. Like it's definitely the toughest race like you could ever do. But it's definitely so much fun. It is definitely an endurance. So much fun. Yep. So I am so proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you too. You were holding that first place. And she got like literally a perfect time, like 0. .00. Like, how do you do that? Why? So they're going to be scared of you next year. Yeah, I'm coming for you. <laughs> you guys. Look at what they have. Free babies. How beautiful are these babies? <laughs> Kylie, take a puppy. Oh, this one is so cute. Hi, baby. Get up. that wraps it up for us at rocky mountain race week so we did the heads up something was going on in the car like me and my opponent we were just like throttling into the finish line but he crossed it before me so we're packed up got third place and it was super fun but yeah thank y'all for watching following the journey supporting us i really appreciate it we're wrapping up rocky mountain race week and we took home third in the nine out class fourth in the eight five class kylie got sixth in the 11 out class so i'm super excited for next year and thank you kevin for being a road weaker he was actually like supporting the other teams too if they needed to pick up some parts and stuff <laughs> it was an amazing tuner got all the altitude stuff down but very consistent on the 90 class. I'm so excited. Yay! I wish we had some more dial in time, but we'll we'll get it before next year and yeah, we'll we'll definitely take home more trophies next year. We learned our, you know, we we saw some shortcomings that we hit this year and we're going to address that so we don't do it again and more trophies. We learned a lot of lessons on this trip. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support and we will see you on the next one. Yay! Bye. 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 <laughs>